Hi team, welcome to Cloud Pandit. In this Microsoft Fabric Master Program, in today's session, we will talk about how to copy data from external data source that is outside of the lake house. We will be creating the Azure SQL database. From Azure SQL database, how to copy data into the lake house which we are creating within the workspace of the Microsoft Fabric. Because Microsoft Fabric workspace is totally different from our Azure SQL database. So if you want to connect to the Azure SQL database from Microsoft Fabric, we need to use a external data store. So how we can able to copy data from this external data source to lake house we will see. For that, I needed three things. One is Azure SQL database I need to create from the portal. Next, I need to create a lake house from the Fabric workspace. Third thing is I need to create a data pipeline within the Fabric workspace. Let's do this step by step. Let me go and create the my Azure SQL database. So click on the SQL database. If you are not aware of the SQL database, search here. Go to the Azure SQL database. Click create SQL database. Now you can come down. So I am choosing my subscription. Resource group I am choosing is Cloud Pandit iPhone RG resource group. Click OK. Now come here database name I'm giving cloud pandit iPhone dev iPhone SQL DB because this is a dev SQL DB server I am creating click create new the server name is cloud pandit iPhone dev iPhone SQL server. So once we have provided the username and sorry server name and database name for this particular server we need to set up the username and password and be using the SQL authentication I am giving my name my password here so once we have provided your user id and password click ok come down so you can see the compute plus storage it is basically will come dynamically but i don't want that okay i don't want to change based on a serverless means it can just uh, increase the compute as per the query needs and it can decrease the resources as per the query needs but i don't want that I want budget friendly where I am fixing it. I want 250 GB of uh, database storage and T10 database throughput units, the performance, and it will be charging me 1156 rupees per month. Just click apply. So then what you need to do, you need to come through the additional settings. I want some sample database, like some uh, tables. We will get a adventure work LT, sales LT, customer sales and the product product category a lot of tables will be created within this particular database we will see those things once we create this database then simply click review plus create then click create okay so this database will be created now come to the second tab so go to data factory this is completely url also you can see this is a fabric and this is portal.edu.com this is a database so within this data factory uh our, from the fabric what you can do is we can go to cloud pandit workspace within the cloud pandit workspace first i'll be creating a lake house for us click on the lake house i'll be creating cloud pandit sync lh001 okay we create Yeah, so just a uh, lake house is created. Now we can just click on the uh, files. Let's create a subfolder called global. Under global, I want to create an India folder. Under India, I want to create a landing folder. Under landing, I want to create a customer folder because source said customer table data. I want to load it into this customer table. So that's why sync said I just created the folder structure where I want to load the table data. Okay, let it be. Now again, go to our Cloud Pandit workspace. Click on this new. Okay, we need to create a data pipeline. Click on the data pipeline. So you can see PL underscore data ingestion okay, daily. So this is a pipeline I am creating. Create it. Okay, so now what we need to do we need to go to the database so database is still creating let's wait for a second 
now we can see database ready first let's go to the database what we need to do here we need to enable the firewall just click on the set server firewall so selected networks i'll be selecting my network ip currently whatever ip i connected and hello azure services if any azure services are there i am allowing those azure services to access this database save it yeah, so it is successfully saved now come back so now we can just click on the query editor here let me type my server password here and say type my server password click ok now we can see there are a lot of tables here we have but i am interested in copying this particular table let's see how many records are there in the sales lt dot customer table then run this so you can able to see this particular table is having a lot of columns and the number of rows that we have is 847 rows and there are a lot of columns also we have you have customer name style and a lot of columns we have so we want to copy these 847 rows into the Lakehouse using the uh, fabric data pipe. So now we can just click, simply click copy activity. Let's add the copy activity to the canvas. Now let's go to the source. Within the source, we need to choose the external. Till now we were using the workspace, but today now you need to use the external. Click new connection. So new connection to what? New connection to the Azure SQL database, you can search for SQL database here. It will come Azure SQL database, search it, select that. Then we need to put here connection details, okay, server name. What is the server name? Come here, go back. Okay, you, oh sorry, just click on go to this. Here you can able to see the server name, copy this server name, put that particular server name here. Then database, what is the database name? This is the database name from here to here. We can copy this database name and you can able to keep it here so this is a create a new connection is yes, if you have any existing connection it will show here but i want to create a new connection okay click here now this is the connection name okay connection name what it is just creating but if you want to make it as a ls for azure sql db you can just give your connection okay next what is authentication type so the basic authentication or organization account or service principle. So now let's go and log in with the basic authentication. Let me type username and password. Now, okay, you can just click create the connection. Okay, now we can see the connection is established and uh, connection type is Azure SQL DB okay and what you want to select from there from this particular connection so you can see there are a lot of tables which we have in our database so all those tables will be listed down here so you can just select whatever table you want okay this is the table that i want i'll be just selecting sales LT dot custom once i selected this particular table here source side now, if you want to preview data, once again, you can just click preview data. You can able to see the data here. So these are the columns, total 840 rows we have, 847 rows we have. That entire data I want to copy into Lakehouse. Within the Lakehouse, we created a sync Lakehouse. This is the Lakehouse. Within this, I want to load it into a folder. Select that particular folder path that we created. What is the folder path we created? If you remember, we created a global. Under global, we created India folder. Under India, we created the landing folder. Okay. Under landing, we have created a folder called customer. Let's go inside the customer folder. Customer folder. Now, you can just click OK. So what I want is file name. File name, I'm just saying customer dot, customer dot CSV. So within this particular uh, file, within this particular file, data should be copied. Nothing, you no need to keep anything else. Just everything is done. You can validate the configurations. There is no errors were found. We can save this particular changes. Once the save changes are saved, you can run it. 
go to output to see the output. Just to run this. Yeah, so you can just see the pipeline is okay within a 17 seconds within 17 seconds pipeline is succeed you can just click on the copy data one here you can see 847 rows are read and uh, it has written into a single file all the 847 rows are written we can go to the sync lake house here okay we can go to the customer folder okay we can click on this refresh it so you can see customer.csv file if you go to this customer.csv file we can able to see all the data here till 840 you can see 848 why 848 because first row is header so total records are 847 and one row is a header total 848 rows are showing here okay this is how we can able to copy data from external data sources into the fabric workspace within a fabric workspace we can copy into lake house data warehouse anything we will see more labs in this particular aspect in the upcoming sessions. Thank you all for watching this particular video. I request all of you to subscribe my YouTube channel and encourage me. If you have any questions, please post your questions in the comment box. Thank you.